Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how we have used Flutter hooks and Flutter web together. For those of you who don't know Flutter hooks, so basically this is a package provided by Remy, who's the author of provider package also. This package basically aims to solve the problem from the stateful widget, which is reusing the logic of in state or dispose. This package tries to solve the problem of stateful widgets by introducing a new type of widget called as a hook widget. So let's see how we have used it in our solution. Click on the hooks option here. So this is a form which uses Flutter hooks package. This form as a way in which you guys can recommend me or suggest me the tutorials which you want to see next. Let's see this form in action. So let's click on the save button. Okay, and this shows us this field cannot be blank. So these two fields are mandatory. And so let's go ahead and fill these fields. After filling the fields, let's click on the save button. And it says confirm your suggestion, which we just filled it up in the previous form. So I think it's okay. And let's click on save. So it says, gives me a pop-up received true and description suggestion received. So this means your suggestion has been successfully received at my end. The fields here, email or your handle are optional because uh, in some cases, some people don't want to share their email and that's totally fine. Each field here is listening to a particular type of hook. And if the value inside that hook changes, then the field gets notified. And at last, the save button is listening to all the hooks, all the compulsory hooks. And if those compulsory hooks are not validated, then this save button pops up this error message. How we have done this is completely described in the article below. And the source code is also linked in the description below. That's it from this video, guys. If you enjoy this video, please comment, subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.